Hello, this is Mrs. Mills, your English instructor for American Literature, and this week I'm going to speak about Arthur Miller's play, The Death of a Salesman. So I will be referencing, and I'm going to get to this picture in a minute here, <laughs> I'm going to be referencing The Death of a Salesman PowerPoint that I have provided for you in the weekly folder, so if you need to pause this video and get the PowerPoint, that's absolutely no problem. So. I'm going to be looking at the different slides from this PowerPoint in accordance to theme and tragic hero. So if you need to pause, do so now, grab the PowerPoint and come on back. Okay, so I am going to look at the second slide of the PowerPoint, which brings me back to these wonderful pictures. <laughs> I had my students draw pictures of their initial perception of a salesman. Now, if you go back to the PowerPoint, the second slide is your interpretation of a salesman. So I'm just going to read this really quick. It says, opening question. What is your definition of a salesman? What makes a superior salesman? How is a salesman different from someone in another occupation? So these questions can kind of get you warmed up to Miller's play. So again, I had my students draw their initial perspective of a salesman. I'll share these with you. This is the good old Sam Dickerson <laughs> insurance salesman. He looks like a really nice guy. Adjectives, youth, youthful, well-spoken, friendly, well-dressed, clean, professional. He looks very, very nice and um, orderly and ready to sell something. So this was one group's interpretation of a salesman. Oops. Here's another one. This is the door-to-door -door salesman. He looks a little bit more shady, a little bit more. Some examples or adjectives, creepy eyes, charismatic, relaxed, organized, well-groomed, talks a lot but barely listens. So that's another salesman type. And I'm sure you guys know um, what you think a salesman is too. <laughs> Maybe these are relatable to you. One more. Oh, this one's great. This is um, apparently Dan, the used car salesman. <laughs> and used car, used car salesmen sometimes get a bad rap, but um, this is the shadiest salesman that the class thought of. Some adjectives, dishonest, cheesy, greedy. So it's interesting to look at different perspectives of a salesman because there's so many different types of salesmen out there and um, everybody's experiences are different with salesmen. So I have my experience and you guys have yours so you can relate this all back to Willie Loman, our main character in Death of a Salesman. On a side note, there is a movie version of Death of a Salesman. I believe it's from the 80s. It has Dustin Hoffman and John Malkovich. So if you're able to pick up Death of a Salesman, the film, it is to a T with the text. Whoever edited or put together this film, the director and then, you know, the production company doesn't come to my head right now. They stuck to Arthur Miller's original play. The movie is so raw and it's good and it's filled with emotion. So if you really want to get that emotional experience with Death of a Salesman, I highly encourage you to watch the film in addition to reading the text out of the, um, out of the textbook. So again, it's from the 1980s. I don't recall what year. I'm pretty sure it's from the 1980s and it stars Dustin Hoffman and John Malkovich. Dustin Hoffman is obviously Willie Loman, and John Malkovich is um, Biff. So I encourage you to watch that film. It's really good. Dustin Hoffman does a really nice job, and John Malkovich does a really nice job pushing Willie Loman's buttons in his character of Biff. So you'll see all that emotion and yelling and conflict in that film. So I encourage you to go out there and watch Death of a Salesman. All right, back to the PowerPoint and back to just a couple of more instruction notes. Let me grab my board. As you see in the PowerPoint, 
Um, the literary element of foreshadowing is emphasized here. You're going to see a lot of car references, driving references, and insurance references. And remember, foreshadowing are hints and clues that kind of guide you to the end of the piece. So please make sure that you read and review the literary element of foreshadowing. And I want you to look for a lot of car and driving references in addition to insurance references. And those are going to lead you to the res uh, resolution of the play. All right. There are a lot of themes and I only put maybe three or four themes in my PowerPoint. I'm sure you can generate more. And again, they're on the PowerPoint as well. Pride is a big theme. Status, appearance, abandonment, um, finances. So look at those themes. And in the PowerPoint, I have backed up and supported those themes with textual evidence, OK? Another item we want to study here with Death of a Salesman is the tragic hero. All right. I'm going to put this board down and talk to you a little bit about the tragic hero. I have provided a link in this week's folder regarding the tragic hero. And I really want you to read the article that I put up there. It's called Tragedy and the Common Man by Arthur Miller. And what Arthur Miller aimed to do is he wanted to write a tragedy in modern times. And when you read this little piece, the tragic hero is often involved in Shakespearean lit. If you think of King Lear, Hamlet, Medea, Macbeth, those are all tragic heroes. And again, what Miller wanted to do was modernize this item or this element of the tragic hero. And he wrote Willie Loman as a tragic hero. And I wanted to read a little bit from this article. And you'll see this when you open up the website. From Orestes to Hamlet, Medea to Macbeth, the underlying struggles, that of the individual attempting to gain his rightful position in society. Rightful position in society. Think about it. Willie Loman. Okay, let me read a little bit more. With the tragic hero comes the tragic flaw. The tragic flaw is the characteristic that defines a tragic hero. The flaw or crack in the character is really nothing and need be nothing, but his inherent unwillingness to remain passive in the face of what he conceives to be a challenge to his dignity, his image of his rightful status. So think about Willie Loman as a tragic hero. What is his tragic flaw? And how does Miller shape him into a tragic hero? Now, again, you might think of Willie Loman as a tragic hero. You might not. But I really want you to study the character of Loman and even think about his name, Willie Loman. His name is William. Why not call him Will or Bill? Why call him Willie? Willie is emasculating him. And look at his last name, Low man. So <laughs> his name kind of foreshadows his fate as well. So I really want you to look at the character of Willie Loman. Think of salesman. Read the PowerPoint and have a great time with Death of a Salesman. Oh, and before I leave you, this might be really, really fun. Down here at the bottom is a website tombstonebuilder.com. It's really, really interesting. What I would like you to do is for your reflection blog for this week, and you are able to attach items to your, to your reflection blog entry, go to tombstonebuilder.com and generate an epitaph, a tombstone for Willie Loman. What would his gravestone say in your perspective? All right, so generate a, an epitaph for Willie Loman. It might be interesting to share with your peers. And it is also a really cool website. So if you're walking through a cemetery and you saw this man's gravestone, what would you say and how would it define his character? And you only have a couple lines to do that. And that's the 
interesting part. Well, you guys have a great time with Death of the Salesman, and we'll catch you later.